Good morning, Riverhawks. I'm Shreya. And I'm Rayhan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face, Face the flag. flag. Put, Put your right hand, hand over your heart. heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hello, Riverhawks! During December, lots of spectacular holidays are celebrated. Today, we're going to focus on Hanukkah, a Jewish holiday that is celebrated this year from today to the 18th. Grab your latkes, Riverhawks, and let's start learning more about the holiday Hanukkah from Mrs. Van Dyke. Joining us for today, we have Mrs. Van Dyke, a teacher here at Rio Norte. Hello. Hello. So, how does your family celebrate Hanukkah? Um, we light the menorah every night for eight nights. And when you light the candles, you say a prayer over it. Um, we start with that. And we, we only get together with my whole family once out of those eight days. And that's when we'll have a big meal and play dreidel and things like that and exchange gifts, exchange gifts on that day. That sounds really fun. It is. Mm -hmm. So what does Hanukkah mean to you? Uh, to me, Hanukkah means, and any, any Jewish celebration that um, we practice, to me it ties in with the culture and the history. So the history behind Hanukkah was that there was a rebellion where the Jewish people were not being allowed to practice their religion. And after they won this rebellion, rebellion after a few years, they were cleaning up a temple and they were going to rededicate it. And miraculously, there was, they could only have enough, they only found enough oil to light the temple for one day to clean it up, but it lasted miraculously for eight days. So this tradition and the holiday represents um, the menorah and the lights are all about having enough oil for that miracle to occur. And for me, it's just um, practicing what my ancestors have practiced for thousands of years and keeping it alive. That is a very cool backstory. What different foods do you eat during Hanukkah? Um, you're specifically supposed to eat foods that have a lot of oil in them. So we eat potato pancakes, which are called latkes. And they're really good, in my opinion, to eat with applesauce. But some people like them with sour cream. And then you also eat jelly donuts. So, of course, donuts are fried and they're sweet as well. So those are the special things. And then we also make like brisket or chicken. And this year I'm going to make matzo ball soup, even though that's more of a Passover tradition. So lots of different foods that we usually eat, that we don't eat very often or only eat on Hanukkah. That sounds delicious. What is your favorite Hanukkah tradition? Uh, I would say that my kids' favorite tradition is that they get to open gifts, similar to Christmas, but um, we only give them generally one of the eight days. Some people give them every day, but I also like playing with the dreidel and gelt, which is the little chocolate coins. So it's kind of like you're gambling, but it's just a fun game that everyone can do together. There's no skill involved. That, that sounds really fun. What's your favorite part about Hanukkah? My favorite part is really just being with my whole family together and celebrating and um, just keeping up the tradition. That's what I like. Oh, well, that's so sweet. All right, that was it for this interview. Thank you, Mrs. Van Dyke, for joining us today. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed learning more about Hanukkah. Happy holidays, Rio. Now, let's get back to the studio. Just a reminder that NJHS is having a mandatory meeting today at 1 p.m., so don't miss it. The Filmmakers Club is also having a meeting tomorrow at 1.15 p.m. If you love memes, then today is your lucky day. ASB's Guess That Meme LTA Challenge is today during lunch at 12.30 p.m. Tomorrow, there will also be a Guess That Holiday Movie LTA. You can find the Zoom link in the Rio Activities Google Classroom. ASB will be pushing back their due date for the Ugly Sweater Contest. This means that you have an extra day to pop on those ugly sweaters and snap some pictures. And if you really love that sweater, you can wear it to school tomorrow. Hey Rio, wanna make some super fun and festive apple candles for the holidays? Check this out. Hey Riverhawks, it's Kayla. And today I will be showing you how to make an apple candle. 
You will need a knife and apple core, a spoon, an apple washed and ready to go, a Q-tip, a tea light, a small saucer, and some lemon juice. Your tea light can be battery operated or a regular tea light, but make sure to use caution when handling fire. First, you will need to cut out the top of the apple. Cut out a small circle with your knife and apple core, and then use your spoon to scoop out the apple pieces. Next, pour some lemon juice onto the small saucer. Swirl one end of the Q-tip in the lemon juice and then coat the hole in the apple in the surrounding area. Place the candle in the hole in the top of the apple and press it down. Then you're done! Happy holidays, Riverhawks! Now back to the studio. Well, only one more day till the weekend, Riverhawks. I'm Shreya. And I'm Rayhan. And we'll see you tomorrow on Rio TV.